The law of assumption works for every area of your life, but I have seen that it works fastest in terms of healing the body. Perhaps this is because your body is the container that holds different moods, thoughts, and emotions. Therefore, the cells of the body are the first ones to either benefit from those states of being, and if those emotions are negative, then the body is the first one to bear the brunt of your flawed thinking patterns. The natural state of the body is thriving, but it is our own thoughts that keep us away from that state of perfect health and well-being. I will explain more about this, but first, let me share a success story that will remind you of the power you hold over your own healing. Here is how the story goes. Hello to all of you. Today, I am super excited to share a personal story of mine about how I discovered the law and used it to my advantage for my own healing. So, I was a perfectly healthy woman in my mid-twenties living my life to the absolute fullest. There is a lot to enjoy and do in my life so safe to say that there is never a dull moment in my everyday life. Anyways, I was in the best of health until something shifted at the beginning of last year. I am fond of walking and one day as I was finishing one long walk, I suddenly felt a sharp, excruciating pain in my left hip. This pain came as a shock to me as I had no idea what it was about and needless to say that since I was young, I had never thought about having such pain in my body. This vicious pain stayed with me and I was in a state of misery. This was the time when I had no idea about the law of assumption or Neville, so I let the 3D get the best of me. Every moment I was thinking about the pain or reacting to the difficulties it was causing me. But now I know that had I controlled my attention and hadn't become a victim of the situation, I could have cured it within a few days. Days changed to weeks and weeks changed to months, still the pain was there. Within a few months, I noticed that my right hip started hurting as well. I think it was because I focused so much on the pain that it just expanded and now my right hip was suffering along with the left hip. The pain was becoming unbearable, so I went to a physiotherapist for a few sessions. She checked me and said that there was nothing wrong with my hips and just gave me a few exercises I had to do. So my situation stayed the same and I was still in pain. The pain started in January of last year. June had arrived but I was in the same position. Summer had started but my pain hadn't gotten any better in almost six whole months. I was facing difficulty in standing still. And going out for walks had become a distant dream because every time I tried taking a walk, my hips would hurt so bad afterward. That really scared me, and I was petrified of taking walks, which I loved so much. I couldn't even wear heels as I wanted. The pain started getting worse, and now it was impacting my thighs as well. I consulted many physicians and reached out for help in every way I could. Doctors made me take different tests. They took x-rays, but nobody would tell me what was wrong with my body. Mentally, I was in such a bad place that I started thinking that maybe I had some hidden disease or a tumor that was causing all this. I was so naive and didn't know that I must not think such thoughts because each thought is creating our reality. Later in the last year, I came across the law of assumption, and that is when the entire game shifted for me. I was so excited to learn that I could create any reality for myself only if I assumed the feeling of having it. So my first aim was, of course, to heal my hips. For this, I used the revision technique. I imagine that my hips have always been healthy and pain-free. Even when I felt the pain, I would reject the thought of misery and say, no, this is not my reality. I knew that I had to ignore the 3D no matter what, so I used every tip and advice from Neville Goddard to do that. And guess what? My persistence paid off and today, I am seven months pain-free. I am living an amazing life and now the law of assumption is a part of my everyday life. That was the success story from today's video. I found it really inspiring especially for the people who are dealing with any health issues. Here are a few takeaways that you might want to note down in case you want to replicate the same results in your life. First, you have to stop reacting to 3D. I know that it is difficult to not give in to the 3D when some pain or ache in your body is constantly reminding you of your illness, but it is doable. You can take the help of meditation or mindfulness exercises to become detached from the physical symptoms. Second, please don't give your power away to what your doctor or the diagnosis says. Don't Google your symptoms and try to prepare yourself for the worst case scenario, because guess what? If you prepare yourself for a worst case scenario, you are probably going to get one. 
so stay away from that habit. Third and last, use the revision technique as mentioned in this story. Make your mind believe that your body is and always was healthy and I promise, you will start seeing results within a week or so. The next step in your successful manifestation journey is to keep watching my channel. Click now on the video on the screen to be inspired by another video.